Right, hopefully we are live. Hopefully I've fixed the microphone issue. I have no idea if I have. Um, I don't know if I've linked my Twitter, my YouTube, I haven't, so I can't see on there, so I've actually got to go on the Twitters. But two days in a row streaming, that is not too bad, I think. Oh, got to type it. www.twitch.tv forward slash IGFC 101. Magic 2013 stream. So this is like two days in a row I'd be actually streaming, which is pretty impressive for me. Um, I did it back in the day, I streamed a few days in a row. I'm not sure if I fixed my mic volume. Um, I don't know why it was like that initially. I literally have no idea. Oh, I haven't even got um, this open. I am all unprepared and everything, I can't even find it. Where are you? There it is. Total media extreme. There's the program used to run the PBR. Can't believe I, I normally get all prepared before I go live, but today I've seen to have just gone nah. And hopefully my OBS is still set up alright, it's on the magic thing so it should be. Hopefully this thing will actually load, did I click it? Apparently not. Finger setting up for the PVR, hopefully it doesn't try and get X bit first. Okay, we should be we should be good to go. Just give it a second, just so I can test everything time. Everything looks good and ready. Um it says two people are in here. Um last time it said three and it never changed, so um I don't know if this includes me or not, but hello to all the people in here. I am gonna try and stream for two hours a day, it is twenty to Three, so it might not be two hours, it might be more like an hour and a half. But um, I'm going to see what we can do, and I should probably put that on. So there we go. Um, if my mic isn't perfect again, I literally have no idea what the problem is. Um, I can only think of one thing what the problem was in my last one, and I, I thought I fixed that. So if I haven't, then I'm, I'm uh, dreadfully sorry. But hopefully, I'm just going to play some magic here. I'm not quite sure what to play. I guess I'll play Rose Gallery, because yesterday I tried to play that twice. First game the guy just didn't play and left, and the second game I got crushed. Well, I think I crushed, I got land screwed. Excuse me, got, got a drink here, because I totally forgot. Oh, we're doing a... No, I think I'm not interested in one of those. I probably should have noticed that. Um, but I didn't. I forgot how much streaming, just talking for a while, hurt your throat. I mean, my throat was so dry last night. And um, yeah, so I've got a drink with me, so I should be I should be right to go. This guy's ready up, so this is going to be my first game of the day. So check my mic is unmuted, and indeed it is, which is always which is always useful. Don't want to be talking to absolutely no one. So again, one land hand can't keep, even though I've got an agony warp and this guy, which is a three cost. She's one of both counter target creature spell and or return target creature from card from a boot hand. That's a pretty sweet card. Can't keep, however. This is just blue again, so it's just going to be... I, I need, think I need to ch change this deck about, because these are all quite expensive cards. Um, I really don't want to go down to six if I'm going to. Okay, this has the mana. It has followed footsteps, which isn't really going to be of use as to start with. Um, apparently I'm going to keep. I would have kept anyway. But the game took out of my hands. Terramorphic Expanse, I think that is only true that they run that in mana. Do they only run that in mana mastery? Um, not too sure. Another land is nice though, that's four lands. Um, nothing in my hand. This this actually does require double blue, but I haven't really got a creature to put that on as of yet. This guy, four damage to target creature and you gain four life, and if you use a blue, draw a card. Okay, so he's in the Extort deck or the Forge of deck. Um, that is a pretty good a pretty good one, and I think I am just going to add new warp it. Um, I guess I should do that now so he can't so he doesn't play land, but yeah, that, that seems fine. I'm just going to add new warp, add new warp. Just get rid of that guy. I don't know why he flashed, I don't know. I thought from me, from me not, I've done it wrong, it gives it plus three, plus naught, I don't know what I was thinking, but it worked out right. I, don't, I have no idea why he flashed, but I don't know if flashing is still a big thing like it was in for Magic 2012. Haven't been in the scene. Is this the reveal of hand? 
Castigate Tugging with Bills, ha ha and you choose a non-land card from it and then exile that card. Um, I'm assuming he's going to take the 4-4 Flyer. Um, I guess he could take the Followed Footsteps, I'm nowhere near casting that, so I'd be surprised if he takes that. I'd definitely take this. It was a non-land card, it said, I believe. And he does take the flyer, and that is exiled. Um, I do like hand destruction spells like that. Um, so this is enchant creature, when it, uh, in, and it's about to draw two cards, and it has flying. Um, still no creatures. Maybe I'm not running enough creatures in this deck. I haven't really looked at my builds, um, builds for decks at all. Since I did them when the decks first came out, I just had a quick look. He's got two of each, he's got him, he's got a Nighthawk. So I'd like some way of dealing with that. Um, another land, still not double blue. So I can, so I can draw two cards. This could just be a uh, pay for draw two cards, which you know I'm I'm kind of in favour of doing it. This does nothing. It already has flying. So I'm, I think I'm just going to do this to draw the two cards. Okay, so we've got another of the flyers and the, this guy, so this guy can be played next turn and I um, probably would be willing to trade that with the Nighthawk. And this guy could always also come down. Um, so here's some plan is land yet, yeah, he's got three cards in hand, swinging in for two. He gains two as well. And he's just saying go, I don't know what instance or sorceries he has in that deck, I need to learn it more. So there's a Phantom General. I still only have one land. Um, could just kill Nighthawk, which is really tempting. If I get Nighthawk out, then this into Followed Footsteps would be pretty sweet. Um, but this guy is really tempting me. He'd probably get like Vindicate or something. I'm sure that deck will have Vindicates. Um, I feel like I'm just. I just want to. I just want to get that guy gone. Um, I gain the four life too. Also draw a card which is nice. It's another land, it's another swamp at that. Um, so not quite sure. He didn't have a land this time, he doesn't have a land this time either. So he must have some expensive cards in hand. There's a second island. So I do have six mana. So I have a choice. Well it's not really a choice, it's this is four and this is three. So I can't play both, which would be nice. Kind of just want to do the flyer, then copy it next turn. I mean, two four four flyers would be nice. I think I'm just going to pop the four four fly down. Um, that's going to be a good beater. Not quite sure if it will live long, but he didn't kill it there. So unless he has an instant speed removal, he has a pillar of the sleepless. So I'm going to be losing two alive in this. That is actually quite a beating. That is actually quite painful. Um, drew the land, so I can play two things this turn. Could play Hallowed Footsteps just to be getting me some 4 4 flyers, but that's going to be taking a lot of damage. I um, think I'm just going to play this. Um, that is tapped right, so that's perfect. Just play this and then Phantom General. Um, in the end, I might even just turn up. Um, um, fellow footstepping, followed footstepping the Phantom General. Do I keep I keep calling that General? Is it General? It's Fort Warrior. I keep calling that General for some reason. Pillory is real, a real beating on that guy. So is that the Black White Le Liege? No, it's not protected from white and black. Gains flying until end of turn, gains first strike, plus one, plus one. Um, so there's the two lifeguard from that. Okay, that is pretty sweet. Oh, but that does that have flying? He can give it flying with just a white and a black. So he does have that up. So I guess I shouldn't be swinging in with that. Um, it has protection from white and it has protection from white and black. So that shuts down these two. So I think I'm just gonna swing in for two. Let's read this. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, if you can draw a nine new draw card. So that's not going to be dealing combat damage. Because it has pro black. So I think I'm just going to swing in for two. Unfortunately that costs that ability gives it flying. 
So I think I'm just gonna follow footsteps on this guy. So they, I'll have more unblockables. Still have this to draw two cards, which is pretty nice. I am taking two a turn from the pillory plus the plus the ability on this guy. How do you say that name? More, more, more I. I don't know. Anyway, that is a Guardian Seraph. Did like the look of this deck when I played it yesterday. I assume that it's holding back. Be very surprised if that swings in. So I'm going to take my two damage. I have I have the lands I need. So if I just draw spells, and um, this is Agni Warp, that could be interesting. Um, well, I can't kill this guy because it has Pro Black. So this is a black spell. So. Um, I guess I could fly up. Yes, I'll fly up this because so he, he hasn't got the mana. And then if he does block, I can Agni Warp. That sounds like a plan. I draw two cards as well, which also helps. Another Phantom Warrior. And I. Well, I can't play both. So I'm not playing that yet. I'm just going to swing in with these two guys. Can I not attack? No, that's an enchantment. Okay. So swing on with these two guys. I'm not quite sure what the pause is for. He is out of mana. I mean, it does cost one to do give that flying, so he, he can't do that. He does block um, to get neg three nego. So give that neg three nego and give that nego neg three. They just trade, they don't even trade. I don't draw a card, which is a shame. But I think that's a good trade. I actually tapped the mana wrong there. I didn't even check to see the mana. That's just, I'm not used to playing this game. So that is a shame. And he is playing double until end turn, if you can control it. Was that? Did he double that? So that was two of them. So that is a four three, and it wipes away all my Phantom Generals. So that is a good turn for him. I'm at 12 and about to be at 10. And this, this race is not going in my favour. At least that was a little misplay, but it actually went in my, in my favour because I didn't waste a Phantom General. So I can swing in safely there. I draw a card, which is another land. I'm getting a little bit flooded here. So I'm going to be at 6. I'll swing back for 5. I'm not winning this race. The pillory on this guy is absolutely crushing me. Um, he's been, been at four lands, I've just been absolutely flooded. He swings in, I guess he's going to pump. It costs two, so he can pump twice. That is a plus. So he'd just give it first strike, and then that's it. Um, I guess I'll take four. I don't know why. He, this guy likes his pauses. And then there's a mage. Death Touch and there's another Guild Mage. So his board went really well there. He did manage to extend his board. I'm at 6. So I'm pretty sure this game is lost. Um, so I can draw a couple of cards here. Um, so I guess I do that. Just put it on this guy. Draw the two cards. And what did I draw? Enchant creature when it deals combat damage to player, you may return target creature card from the grave to your hand. And this guy. Search target player's library for a card and exile that player shuffles with her library. It's not the two most useful. I could play this, this costs four, and I can play a Phantom General. Um, but then I'd want to hold back, I assume. Because I'm dead in a couple of turns. Um, I guess I'm just going to play this on this guy. Then I'll be able to swing in, play the Phantom General. And if I swing in, I'm like, okay, so I swing in, draw a card, return Phantom General. 
if it wasn't at random that is. Okay, that's good, so I'll get a Phantom General, draw a card, um, which is which would probably have won me the game if I draw it last turn. When it enters the battlefield target player loses six life, when it leaves the battlefield target player gains six life. Uh, so that could have won me the game. If I can survive, who knows, but for now I just play Phantom General Phantom Warrior. I've been calling that general the whole time. Um, so I'm technically not dead, because I take two, then another two. Oh, this thing has absolutely killed me. That pillory was just insane for him. This game would have been so over. So he'll just swing with the team, I assume. I have to block that guy. And I guess I'll trade with that guy. Um, he could He's going to make us both lose one life, I assume. So he's given that first strike and then he'll... No, he didn't make us lose one life. And that's a Nighthawk, so his board is still really strong. And that might have been a miss, but I'd, I think I'd rather took the one life than the than that. And follow his footsteps, I don't think it's going to be enough. Um, I could, so I can swing him for three, I can take him down to three, that is the best I can do, but this is pretty much game over, which is a shame, because he can just swing in with the team, and I only have one blocker, although I could get a phantom general, but then I don't have the blocker again, so this is GG, um, I don't think it's a while I can get out of this. Unless I draw a wrath of this cut of this, if he doesn't block, he doesn't. So I could draw if I can draw a wrath. If there's a wrath in this or something, and I'll take the Phantom General. Okay, I drew the land, which is a shame. I don't, I don't even know if there's a wrath in black red. I guess Damnation might be in this deck. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do here. It's pretty close, um, but it looks like it's not going to be close enough. Got him to four, which is pretty decent. If this was um, coming now, that'd be absolutely sick at the beginning of your upkeep. But which which um, goes off first? It doesn't matter because I'm dead. I'm just dead. I'm literally just dead, so it really doesn't matter. Which is a shame. If I had one more turn, I win this game. But he can just swing in with the guys. He can just swing in with Nighthawk. That'd be. Is he... Oh, he's just letting that do it. Okay. It would have been interesting then. I, I guess I should have. I guess I should have hallowed, um, followed footsteps, and see if what goes off first, because that would have been interesting if he'd have let that go but um, that is a real shame I guess I wish, I regret not doing the followed footsteps there because that would have been an absolute huge insane laugh if he'd, uh, if my trigger would have gone off first not quite sure how that rules work um, I'm not an expert on the rules of on the in-depth rules of magic but I totally regret because he was being all cocky about it and everything. And it would have been nice if his cockiness went amiss. Especially if um, if it turned out on a one. If he left his trigger. Because that would have been absolutely hilarious. But was that thing a legendary creature? That's another thing. I, I literally don't know if that's a legendary creature. So anyway. I'm not sure what deck to play next. Excuse me. Um, could play Exalted. I've played Exalted in a while. I haven't played any of these decks in a while. Um, I, I guess is that I haven't played is that is it was one of my favourite decks when the DLCs first came out. Um, well, I'm not sure how my builds are. If um, you think a card's in that shouldn't be in, feel free to let me know because I'm not the biggest deck builder. Um, I tend to play more and just just play, see what other people build, and then just play along with that. 
that tends to be my style. But um, I haven't watched any of WMG Sexy Sixties. Not haven't watched them at all. Okay, in this hand we have a natural uh, mana leak and a electrolyze. Both two good cards. We have a time warp and breaking point. Have breaking point deal six damage to him or her if no one does destroy all creatures. They can't be regenerated. This hand's decent. I got a, I got a two drop as well with two lands. Um, could be worse. This guy's running 71 cards, 61 cards, and green again. We've seen a lot of green. Not quite sure why that is, but that's another. That's, a, that's another. That's another land. So that's always nice. Got mana for electrolyze. Electrolyze is such a good card, but it is mono green. So I'm going to have mana leak up for his first play. Um, do I hold mana leak over the guy? Um, what's he gonna, I don't think turn 3 is going to be that much of an issue, so I'm going to play the guy. And next turn he can start pinging if, pinging if needs be. A Mirfold Goblin. You don't see one of them every day. So hopefully this isn't something absolute. Okay, it's Simic. I wasn't expecting that. So I could have mana leaked this if I had left it up. When you draw a card you may put a 1 plus 1. That is a decent card. That is quite the card. So I'm assuming I'm just going to electrolyze that, um, which means I can't tear morphic. So yes, I think I am going to creature, creature. That just seems like the better play there. Don't want to be dealing with that, and I got a good draw. I drew this guy four, four for five. Whenever you, you gain control of the target permanent until end of turn, if you do untap and gate haste. So that's pretty sweet. Um, I guess I swing in here. I mean, there's no reason not to. I could just hold it back in case he plays something ridiculous with haste, block, ping. Um, don't really see that being the case though. Um, so do he does have a four land drop, a fourth land drop. So Mana Leak is starting to get a bit weak, but I really think that plan that guy was the play. And then Electrolyze is definitely the play. Um, so we've got this guy. Deals combat damage play. You may destroy target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Not really an issue at the minute. I have another... Another Mana Leak. So I think I'm just going to... Uh, no, I guess I can't play that. because Oh, that's five. Okay. So yeah, Terramorphic this turn. Just say go. Ping at the end of turn. He's going to swing in for two. If he, if he has a player like a mana leak. Um, he can pay this, so this, that doesn't even matter. That is unblock a 2 2 unblockable for 2. Pretty, pretty cool. It looks like he doesn't have another play. So I have to take the 2 here. Let's see if he has another play. He doesn't. So I am going to ping him and get my land. And then get another island. And I can even time warp if I need to. But this guy's going to be an absolute beat. And reverberate on time warp sounds like something I really want to do. Um, but. At the minute, I'm just going to play this. Again, no mana leaks. These mana leaks are going to be next useless soon. So I do have to bear that in mind. But I do have a reverberate time warp. Sounds absolutely beautiful. But 4-4 four, four flyer is a 4-4 four, four flyer. So. And the ability is kind of, kind of broke nuts. It basically, an extra 2 damage every turn. So he plays a Terramorphic. Um... Let's see what he does. I'll, I'll be expecting him to try and kill this. I'm two mana away. What is that? It seems like that is coming to The Joy Tower creature can't be regenerated. That creature controls. But okay, that's that's a super nice card. So instead, I just get three three. You know, that card is pretty damn good. But I will take my three three and I'll be happy with it. And that was something I wouldn't have been able to mana leak anyway. So you know, that is. I'm quite happy with the way that's turned out. Do take four here. That's unblockable, that's a flyer, nothing I can do. He has four mana up with two cards in hand. My mana leaks are next useless now. I might be forced into time warping time warping pretty soon. Um, ping you. 
or even maybe forced to using this breaking point deals 6 damage to her if no one does destroy all creatures another one of that so I think that's made up my mind I think I'm just going to breaking point he's got two games in hand and then I will have mana leak up that's if he wants to take the 6 he might not be willing to take the 6 um, we'll see if he's willing so I'm going to play breaking point do nothing. Let's see if he's willing to take the 6 and go down to 7. I've got another one that's back up, so... and then he definitely won't take 6 next turn. He's not willing to take the 6. Borg gets cleared. Uh, he's got 3 cards in hand with 6 mana. Okay, can't man mana leak the Coil and Oracle. He does draw a card off. Remember that. Uh, it, um, he, does get, he does build a land as well. But it looks like he has no other play. Pretty good for him that he peeled the land. But he has nothing, so Mana Leak useless. Prophetic Bolt. Um, might look to do that at end step. Um, yeah, that seems like a plan. The Reverb Break Time Warp is still looking like a good bet for me. And by the way, if the, if you're in the chat, I will keep looking at the chat in between games. Haven't got the right setup in the minute. I need to get my laptop up here so I can read the chat. I haven't got dual monitor setup, which is a shame. But I'm pretty sure I'm not going to prophetic bolt a coil and oracle. That does not seem like a good bet. Um, he has a play. He can pay. So mana leak is useless. Let's see what the enters the battlefield. If you control two or more forests, you may gain three life. When enters the battlefield, if you control two or more islands, you may return target tap creature to its owner's hand. Okay, so this, he gained three. Second ability is not relevant. Oh, he's just returning the, returning the coil, coil and oracle. Um, I could mana leak this, funny enough. I'm not gonna. It's pretty much a dead card. I could. I'm just gonna mana leak it. Um, I, it means I can't Prophetic Bolt, but, you know, these Mana Leaks are going to be pretty much dead soon, and if I can get some value, I'm going to take it. Goblin um, Electrode, one of my favourite cards back in Magic 2012. There's one damage type for your player, and when you cut into the Sorcery, untap it. Um, I don't think... See, I'm not drawing lands, which is a shame. I think I'm just going to hold the Prophetic Bolt up again. Electrode, all that would do is chunk block that 2 to at the minute. This guy has 2 cards in hand. 3 cards now. With a lot of mana. This mana leak is pretty much dead right now. That's why I used the other one while I could, just to get some value out of it. Could kill this, but I think I'm, I'd rather do this to the face. Which I'm going to do, play as you. So I can choose an Electrolyze, uh, I love the one with the elements, another Prof Bolt or Arc Lightning. I do love one of the elements, but I think I'm going to take the Electrolyze. And Wand might have been the play there, but yeah, Wand probably was the play. I'm going to take the Fire Mind, choose one, draw X cards or it deals X damage to target creature or player. That is going to be a play later down the line. For now, I think I am just going to electrolyze and hold up. My, I don't know why I'm saying it. Hold up, man, I ink. Um, I guess I'll just wait and see what happens. Um, not quite sure how many huge stinking guys he has. Um, kind of regret not taking one of the elements. Um, I'm just gonna electrolyze though, creature, creature. And if you have a punt spell, he can use his punt spell. If I draw a land, which is nice. It means I'm close to the time warp reverberate um, combination. He plays a land and just says go. So, again, his hand is completely empty. Okay, so I can play G load, and then next turn I can time warp reverberate. Um, so, that sounds like a good plan to me. Also, if he plays something ridiculously stupid, I do have mana leak up. Um, normally I'd like to wait to use Time Warp, but I think just the, the extra help he'll give me right about now. Um, so he's got the perfect amount of mana to Mana Leak. 
this is a six cost enchantment whenever you cast a green spell you may put two, two okay that's pretty that's pretty nuts and he has the perfect amount of mana to mana leak but he has nothing else so he's done he has two cards in hand and I have plenty of mana which makes me wish I had one of the element so I guess here I'm just going to ping play as you Time Warp, me, that untaps, pause, players, you, that resolves, that resolves, oh I didn't leave double red open, oh that is so, that is so bad, oh I'm still not used to being able to tap your own mana, I am not used to that whatsoever, that is a, that is a beating, and it's all my own fault. Niv Miz is a good draw. Um, oh, that's an absolute beating. Um, so this could be huge. I could draw how many? So that's three. So I could draw five cards off this, but I think just getting a Niv Miz in play is just better. Oh, not not tapping the mana right. I need to. Rem I just need to look at that. I need to remember to look at that. Okay, so he could be starting to get some creatures here. Um, but I do have a this guy if it gets totally out of control, although he just might choose to take six, although he can't really. Sour of Temptation. Taking the Nim Lizard. Taking to Electrode. I guess I'll ping it to get that. The electrode seems a bit of a weird choice there. Um, I don't really understand that. I assume he doesn't have another play. He does have another play. And I can mana leave this. Legendary creature. Cast a green creature spell. You may search your for a creature card and reveal it. If you do, shuffle over to become top of it. Okay, well that's getting mana leaked. At least my mana leak did come in handy. I don't know which card he's been holding on to. Um, I kind of don't want to do this right now. Um, so I can kill another one, I can kill that guy, or I could just kill my own G-load. I don't think that's good, because I might be able to get that back in the future. Um, oh wow, this is... hang on. Whenever you draw a card, this means it deals one damage to target creature or player. He is at four, so that's four. I can draw a lot of cards. Um, so I guess I swing in. He can't kill. He can only, if he wants to. If he doesn't chump, he's dead. I assume he'll chump. No, he doesn't. Okay, so that should be game. That is a combination if ever I've seen one. Five. Draw. Oh wow, he's at one. Draw X cards. That is some bad math on my part. So I think I'm just going to kill off his creatures instead if I can't kill him. Creatures, you, creatures, you, creatures, you, creatures, you. And do I really want to kill off the electrode? And uh, I'll do. I'll do it to a player. I mean, I should be able to kill him pretty simply, but that was some bad math on my part. That is quite, quite, quite annoying. Um, I'm still well in charge of this game. He's only got one card in hand. And oh yeah, and because I killed the sour, that would have been another terrible play if I'd have killed my electrode. Um, I don't have a one drop, I don't think. But my hand is completely stacked now, so I'm just going to play ten more things. I go. He has one card in hand. He's at five. Lethal on board. I've got all these. My hand is completely stacked. Yavi Myers embrace. So I guess he is giving up. I wish you control. Oh yeah, of course he's not giving up. I thought I was just sorry. That's me being stupid. Okay, so it's definitely not over. So he has my Nismizer, but I do have this guy. I just saw that guy. So it is. It is. Uh, um, 
So this guy to the moon deals X damage to player you. So that was a pretty interesting game. Um, I managed to win and lose it in my head about 10 times. But um, that game was pretty sloppy. I think I played most of it well. The, uh, the end bits were quite sloppy. Um, still nothing in the chat, so I assume everyone's just having a good time hanging out, not chatting. That's fine by me. Although, if you do want to chat, when I used to stream, that's what I loved. What I really loved was interacting with the community um, in the in the chat. So um, yeah, if you want to chat, feel free. If you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to write in the comments. Um, even though that was a sloppy match, I managed to get the win. I mean, I just slammed that that last um, draw X cards because I was so happy with the combination and then I realised I was one shot and then I nearly killed my Electro when I was going to get it back anyway because it's killing Sawa so that could have gone worse but um, I really want to play 5 car I think I'll, I really want to play Obedient Dead I think although that Simic deck looked pretty cool I think I'm just going to play Obedient Dead I think that is the deck I'm going to play next I'm not quite been streaming it's already been 40 minutes. Time absolutely flies. I've only played like two games. But time absolutely flies. But I'm glad I'm getting into a routine again of streaming. I don't think I'm going to do it every night, especially when I go back to uni for exams. But just getting back into the habit of recording, streaming, stuff like that. I haven't sat down and recorded anything yet to put up. But I think I'm just happy putting up my streams at the minute. So target player, player reveals a number of cards from his or her hand equal to the number of swamps you control. You choose one of them, that player discards that card. So that's not the best one drop. That's, that doesn't seem like the best hand. This is exactly the same hand except Innocent Blood, but Innocent Blood makes it a bit better. Innocent Blood is better than the Myers my, my Toil. So I'm going to keep it. can make him sack whatever he plays turn one. And he's just left, so that's, that's, that's nice. Um, that's a bit random. I guess he did mull to four. Um, and this is against Green, so this wouldn't have been the worst matchup for him. Kind of annoying that he just, he just leaves. Um, just played Jet Medallion. I think it's Jet. Yep. I'm kind of annoying that they just left. It seems a bit of a strange thing to do. Yes, he took a mulling into four, and he'd have probably have had to take a mulling into three, but at least stay. Um, so, of course, he's playing a girl, you can tell by the name. Lands for absolute days. I even have the foul open. The foul seems good. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to destroy his black source, I think. Because um, I guess I don't know how many more lands he's going to have on a mold of four. He does, but he doesn't have another black source, so that makes me feel a bit better. I picked the right colour. And Crippling Blight, another decent removal spell. I guess not going to be the best here, but it does mean that when I want to get through for damage, I'll be able to get through for damage. And he has three forests. And he has a play. Oh, this is no, this a Yow My Elder. So, well, that, that is g -tit, so I think I might just be playing that. Uh, no, actually I don't want to, because each player sacrifices a creature, but then I, have a I can just sacrifice zombies, which I'm going to be making plenty more of. When it dies, you may search your library for up to two basic land cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. If you do, shuffle your library, and you can sacrifice and draw. So, um, I guess I'm just going to play here. Yeah. I could play Cripple and Blight as well, that also kills it. Mm, not quite sure what to do here. I mean, because him getting two lands is huge for him. But I'm going to have G-Tits. I don't think he can deal with G-Tits. So I'm just going to play that. Um, I can even hit some blood next turn. Get rid of the zombie. Um, I guess I don't want him to give him that first. Just for the fact that I don't want him to get Swamp Swing Plat this turn. Because at the minute he has nothing to do. another land so I guess I just crippling blight, crippling blight. Um, yes he do, does get two cards I mean he does he does do the sacrifice okay I didn't realize I'd do it but it did so you know hey ho he's up to six cards in hand anyway G tiers is just gonna get totally out of control and he's pretty much next turn just because of G tiers 
don't know. What, uh, I've just that's one of the card names I've always kept. G tits. It's just, it's just yeah. It is G tits. And what did I draw? I drew a Nequital, which is a very good card in its own right. But I can just win here, I believe. Oh, he's got to go for the throw for the G tits. So I can only take him down to two, I'm afraid. But then just play Nequital, and I'd be very surprised if I lose this game. But you know, it's not over. It's definitely not over. It, it's pretty much over, but. You know, we don't get complacent here. He's got five cards in hand with six mana. That's quite a lot, but it does seem like he has nothing. And that is a another Mars Toil. Not gonna matter though, unless he has a fog. Maybe I should have fogged. Because if the fog's in that deck, I'm gonna have egg on my face. It doesn't look like he has fog. So if I wanted to be, if I knew the deck's better, then that'd be fine. But as I don't, I could have Mars Toiled. See if he had a fog in hand, then swung in. But, you know, it didn't matter. I'll take my win. And I shall take it and be happy. You are slowly going down. It's a shame. But hey ho, at least some people are here enjoying the stream. Hopefully more of you will watch on YouTube. If I remember to put it unlisted. Uh, remember to put it as um, public. Because that's what I didn't... It didn't, um, I didn't do that last night, and I was wondering why I didn't, why I wasn't getting any views overnight, and it's because it was unlisted, so, you know. I'm sure I won't make that mistake again tonight, especially now, because I know about it. So it's all good. So, yeah, playing Peacekeepers this game, this was one, probably my, this, well, it was my favourite deck back when I initially played. So we, we have an Arcan of Justice as a five class, we have another pure Journey to Nowhere, Pacifism, and an O-Ring. This has so much control, I'm going to keep. This guy's playing 60 in his kit as well. As a plane as well as him. Back when the game first came out, you'd say, oh yeah, that's Peacekeepers Exalted. Now, of course, there's so many other decks that, that could go into. Um, so th I drew a Log Sentry, which is a very good one drop when a block of creature destroyed that and Log Sentry. Very good one drop. Um, I, guess he's, I guess he's not expecting Peacekeepers. Maybe he hasn't played against this deck for a while. Um, so. If he plays something, I could just um, play either a Jade Noah or Pacifism. Um, and he's playing either Exalted or Orzhov. It is Exalted, there's an Avon Squire. So I could just get rid of that. Um, there's a Fiend Hunter. I mean, I've got so many just enchantment removal. Um, not quite sure. I'm not really too fussed about an Avon Squire. Um, I'm just going to play an Armour of the Pure and Swing. Um, this guy does not seem to know Peacekeepers. Um, if I draw one one land, I can play both Fiend, Hunter, and O Ring. So we're going to swing in for two. And um, if I draw lands, I don't see a way I can lose this game. Well, it is Exalted, so you know it's a good deck. So that's how I lose this game. Especially if he has another Exalted creature this turn, and he's swinging in for three. Um, he could have a Vindicate and destroy a land. That would suck. Um, just another Avon Squire. Um, a Tetention Sphere would be lovely right about now. But he does swing in for three. And if I draw land, I have a decision to make. Do I... If I don't draw land, I think I journey to nowhere, one of them. Or maybe a pacifism. That is a land. So now it, that makes me kind of want a Fiend Hunter, but Fiend Hunter is more more um, susceptible to removal, because just, you just need a creature removal, which that deck has a lot of. Um, so first I'm going to swing in, because if he wants to block, that makes my life a lot easier. And I think I'm just going to pacify... No, but then he... No, I can't pacify because that because then he still gets these old bonus. That is terrible. Definitely not just that. So it's one of these three. I'm just going to go with the... Uh, this would be more efficient use of my mana. Um, I'll just go for the... I'll just go for the journey. Um, if he plays a non-exalted guy, then yeah, that guy will be perfect. But I'm just going to get rid of that. Um... So 
He could have a bit of mass removal, but that's not too relevant right now. He's got two men over each. Um, Sublime Archangel wouldn't be the best, but I do have an O-Ring ready for that. Uh, what is that? Is that Royal Assassin? Destroy target tap creature. Um, so, can't block. So that doesn't work there. I'm not, not quite sure what I'm, what to do with that. Because that does make my plays a bit worse. That is a Sun Titan. Still need lands for that. So I could O-Ring the... Do I really want to... Do I really care about that? Um, not really. I could just Fiend Hunter the Royal Assassin. If I Fiend Hunter the Royal Assassin swing for two... That's, that's, that seems good to me. Um, of course, can't pacify the Royal Assassin. So if I do that... If he has a bit of creature removal, he gets that back. But that's not too much of an issue. And if I get to the land of Sun Titan, then the, thing, the game just goes off from there. Little Sentry, doing its job. I'm at four. I'm at 15. He's at 14. Very tight game. If I draw lands, I really can't even lose them. Two, two more lands, I get this. A four, four fly for five, and another three lands, and then I get Sun Titan, which is just the absolutely insane card. All the Titans are. Okay, there's a Knight of Infamy. Well, it's a Knight of Glory, actually. Wrong one. And a Spirit Mantle. So that has protection from creatures. So that can swing in whenever it wants. And that is going to be 4 damage with the Exalted. So I could... That might make a, a Pacifism target. I think that does make it a Pacifism target. Okay, there's there's another land, so we're one one away from this guy, which will be huge. And um, pacifism looks like it's going to be the play on that swing with both take four. Although with the pacifism, maybe I just owing that. Yeah, he has two cards in hand. If I owing that, then he can swing in for three. I swing back for four, and I'm winning the race. If I especially if I draw land, and then I could just pacify that. So I think I'm just going to O-Ring. O-Ring the Avon Squire. That does get rid of the Spirit Mantle, of course. Swing in for four. And if he wants to trade with the Law Sentry, I am more than willing for that to happen. I would, I'd be surprised if he does take that block, but and he doesn't. Um, so I do have one more bit of artifact removal, or enchantment removal. He has three cards in hand, he's at 10, I'm at 11. This is a close game. But um, if I go land land, I don't see how I can lose. There's a Vindicate to destroy the Fiend Hunter. So he wants the Royal Assassin back. Okay, that is a that is a bit of an issue. Because pacifism doesn't work against that. And I've used all my other removal. That just means it can't attack or block. That's a bit of an issue. There's a monk. So now here's the bit where I'm going to get land screwed. So I could just pacify the knight. And then if we... Yeah, okay, that sounds good. I'm going to pacify the knight. Hope to draw land. If I do, I can play monk. Monk is huge. Um, not going to swing in. If he wants to swing in, I'll obviously trade. He's got two cards in hand, five mana. What is uh, that card? Is that Sword of Vengeance? He can't equip it this turn. Has three, plus three, plus three. Has Life Link, Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Luckily not first Strike. So can I draw a land? I can't. I can draw a white creature control, get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Pretty much useless at the minute, especially because I've got a low sentry that will just die. So he's going to equip up. Um, he's got two cards in hand. Could be absolutely anything. Um, if I'd drawn this land, I'd draw land, I'd have been so good right now. Also, I didn't see what it was. It's a pacifism of his own. 
Um, so you're just going to play that, equip the Royal Assassin, swing in for four, gain four. And that is a bit of a beating. Hmm, and it does have Vigilance too. Of course it gets the Exalted, so... Um, this game, maybe I'll use my... Okay, so I've drawn a Fiend Hunter, which is huge. So I just play Fiend Hunter onto the Royal Assassin. And he only has one card in hand. Again, if I draw land, I'm still in strong shape. I am only at four. I did not notice that. Um, really not sure what his last card in hand is. If I draw land, I'll probably play this guy. Okay, that's the Guardians of Acroza. Can't equip, don't see why he would. Still no land. Um, if, it, if I just draw one land, it'd be good, because I can play three of the f three cards in my deck, three in my hand, and that'd be, these two would be quite big. But now he's had time to draw something, that's an Aiden Squire. Um, so he's going to be able to swing in for... has haste as well. Am I dead? I'm actually dead. Wow, well he just had better draws than me, so... Not much I can do about that, I'm afraid. But he takes me to neg one. That, that, that game sucks. Um, maybe I used all my removal a bit too... <laughs> a bit willy-nilly. Maybe I needed to be more conservative with it, but I really thought I'd in control of that game. And the fact that I didn't draw fifth land was just absolutely huge. That other one, at least it was five turns earlier, with a four-four. Uh, maybe, maybe not. But if I and then if Sun Titan, Sun Titan, I'd have just gone off on a six-six vigilance. Um, I don't know what the last card in hand was, but he, I mean, who'd have thought Avon Sky would have been the nuts draw for him there? But it was, and you know, he got the win. So that is a shame. I do like peacekeepers, but. I don't think I've ever lost a peacekeeper, a guard with peacekeeper, so that might be a first. Let's go create a match because there's no one waiting about. Um, haven't really played all servants that much. Um, played as it earlier. Haven't played Reactos, so it does seem like a fun deck. I think I'm going to play all servants. Switch things up a bit. Um, Elvish visionary picture. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so all f all f islands, no planes. We've got an Ormansa, all of reverence. Can't keep. Just a plane can't keep. Um, so that is a four drop. Flying hex priest, pretty sweet. That guy again, five cost. So we have expensive cards, creatures you control that are enchanted to get plus one plus one and can't be blocked except by creatures with defender. I guess I'll keep, it's not like a perfect hand. Um, I think this is literally the first time I'm running this deck. So um, this will be a bit interesting, he's another forest, but geez, green is, green is people's phase right now. Okay, so I drew a griffin guide. Um, so I just need to get a creature down there to start with. So need to build up my mana base, so hopefully I don't get land screwed again. Because that seemed to be having a bit too much for my liking. And this is Golgari again. The last time I played Golgari, he just left randomly after taking a mull to four. And there's a pacifism, so if he plays a threat, that can be pacified. I do like pacifism, it's just, it's just a simple card, but it just so, works so well. Um, so this guy is a four cost, so hopefully we can get him out soon. Don't want to put two... Oh, is this, is this five colour? I guess this might be five colour. I don't think Golgari runs colour, mate. It is five colour. Okay, it's the first time I've played against in a while, but it just means I lose because I had to, don't have a quick start. So the game is already over. Sorry to let you know that. The target all cards in the graveyard onto the battlefield under you for attack. Oh, that card is pretty damn sweet. Uh, so that's going to get played. So I've nothing better to do. But I've literally already lost this game. You literally have to beat beat the five color deck so fast. It's not even funny. 
I learned that the hard way. When I came back to the game, um, he nearly has domain. He just needs a planes for domain, but he hasn't been able to play any spells yet. Um, still no land, because you know, I am in the mood to get manuscript today. But I can Griffin Guide, that is a 3 cost. Could have wait also this. No, oh, Griffin Guide sounds good. More damage at the minute. And um, he could just kill that. I mean, who knows. That's what I'd have liked to have got Griffin Guide on this. And then it'd been over in a few turns. But, um, hopefully he's struggling to play, but he struggles to play some spells. But I can't really see that happening. There is an Evolving Walls to get the last colour that he needs. Oh, an Eternal Fleet Fence. There is the pain, so he now has the main. There's the Maelstrom Pulse. So that was totally expected. Um, and we have an Invisible Stalker. So I guess I swing in for two, Invisible Stalker. Um, just getting absolutely masculine here. I don't know what it is, but I there's two games running now, mana screwed. Um, if I'd have been hit my land up, I'd have had this with the Griffin Guide on. And it's probably going to be game. I mean, he'd be dead in three turns. He'd have to have a pretty good turnaround. Although he is at 4-7 mana with all the colours, so he can probably play anything. Well, he can't exactly play Progenitors. But just not for some reason the game isn't really on my side today by the sound of things. So what did he decide to play? Whenever you cast a spell, you may put a plus one, plus one count, put two plus one, plus one counts on it. When it, it gains trample, when it's player ten or greater. So it starts as a one one. That's not like the biggest, the biggest threat. I'm surprised he played that first. That gives me some hope. Um, that does give me some hope. I wish I had Griffin Guide to put on the Invisible Stalker, but I don't. Game's sinking. Can I draw a land? No, I cannot. I can get a 2-3 Flyer. I could just pacify that, but I kind of just want to play this guy. He gets plus one, plus one, and can't be bite by except by creatures with Defender. Yeah, that's nothing special. And that's just creatures that enchanted, so that will be the only one. And that means that I get, uh, you know. Not quite sure what to do here, because I can't exactly afford to waste time. I think I am just going to get put it on uh, this guy. Just spread the love. Um, I can always pacify that next turn. Um, he does have, still have four cards in hand, so he could have so many things it's not even funny. But I mean, he is on a he's on a clock, so that's that's the best I can do is put him on a clock. Against this deck, if they get their colours, which they have, he just doesn't have double blue or double red. There's a Vindicate destroy land. No, he's destroying the token. That is interesting. I definitely would have destroyed the land there the planes because I would be totally screwed. I think that's a misplay on his part. I mean if he's not going to be able to deal with a 2-2 token then he's in, he's in trouble. Okay there is another land so I can get this guy out there now. Do I want to? Because he's going to be swinging in for 5 next turn. You may gain life equal to the power of target creature you control. That could be handy. But I don't really have any auras, so do I just play Do I just pacify just to try and keep myself alive? Not quite sure what to do here. Um because he's gonna be swinging in for at least five, could be seven next turn. Pacifying just could be the play here. And then hope to draw something like a, a forecast, another Griffin Guide or something. If I draw the land, this guy can also be played, but you know, why not just play that this turn? I don't think I don't think I'm considering all the reverence or this guy. 
It's just this guy or pacifism, because that's probably going to save. I think I'm going to pacify. It's going to save me a lot of damage, I think, in the long run. Does that say creatures you control? Choke creatures you control, that enchantment. Okay, so I missed, misread that. And Day of Judgment, okay. So I'm glad I didn't overextend. That that makes my that makes me better, feel a lot happier that I didn't overextend. Um, so that is that guy, enchant creature with another aura attached onto it. Enchant gets plus three, plus three. Wow, that that card's nuts. And so I'm I'm gonna play this guy. Although this card, I need another aura to get that guy really really going. Um, let's see what huge thing he has next time. The thing is, he does have multiple wraths. Okay, so there's a big thing. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may pay three. If you do, put X plus one plus one counters on it. And a rampant growth. So he's down to one card in hand, but he does have a 6-6 six, six flyer. Something that can deal with that land. Um, so rule of reverence would block that. And I could gain two life. Yeah. Really not sure. Kind of thinking this is just the play. Um, that guy just came out just in time. I managed to get him down to eight. Um, I kind of, if I'd have drawn, uh, this is a shame. I guess I just play that. Then if he swings, then maybe I can counter swing. And that is cheap. It paid three, and then you can put six plus one plus one counters on. So that'll be a 12 12. This guy, Trample, whenever it deals combat damage to an opponent, you may return to a card from the graveyard to your hand. Okay, so he's a zero card in hand, but he's about to get a 12 12 flyer. Or do I just block whenever it deals combat damage to a player? So I guess I just block here. I didn't. Oh, I guess I just block. And then I can swing back for. F if I don't block, and I draw a three-cost aura, I win. Okay, I'm blocking. <laughs> Game decides I'm blocking. I didn't draw a 3 cost aura. So this could just be another chump. Turn target creature card and gave that to your hand. So I think I'm just going to play wall for 4 cost. I could just play another one of these guys. And wall can only block that one, so I might as well play this guy. Just as another chum blocker. Um, do I swing? I guess I'm gonna swing. Um, I am still at quite. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have swung there because now I have to choose. That was bad. That was so so bad. Especially now if he kills this, it's game over. He, he does only have lands in hand. So he obviously swings for both here. So now I have to choose if I give him a 12-12. Or get a creature back that he can instantly play. So I so he'd get this back. Which wouldn't be that scary. So I guess I'm just going to block this one. He's got zero guards in hand, so not too fussed about that. If I draw an aura, I still just win. Because we know that's the only card. Oh, we got. Oh, you can get. Oh my god, I didn't realise. I thought that was creature. Wow, I need to learn to read cards. Invisible Stalker. Just haven't had the had the luck here. Oh my god, that was so bad. I thought it said creature card. You may return target card. Wow, I need to learn to read. Um, so I can just set play both of these. So 
Um, swing in for two. I can block both. And again, if I draw an aura, I win. Can't believe I didn't read that card properly. That is just ridiculous. And what did he? So he he drew this. An 8 8 Vigilance. That is not the worst. Is he not swinging in? He, is he getting scared? So he's just swinging in with that guy. So that means. Do I chuck Invisible Stalker? I think so. Duh, duh, duh. And just chuck that in front of that. What does he get? Another card? Is it just whenever it deals combat damage to an opponent? Oh, it's got trample. I need to learn to read cards. I really do. So now he just vindicates another land. Okay, he didn't get another one. Okay. Core Spirit Dancer. It's just not enough. I mean, I don't know how mu what I need to do to make myself win, but I've had so many chances to draw just an aura. So I swing in for one, I guess. And then I just play this guy, just play the wall. I gain two. We know his last card in hand was that other thing that he got back. So I, I gain life equal to that. I go to 10. And he's probably going to be able to win this turn. When it deals combat to a player, let's read that please. Whenever you put on combat to a player, you may cast a non land card from your hand without having to convert mana cost. So if you're just swinging in with that again, that doesn't seem good. Okay, so I block that with that so it doesn't get any damage. And does that have trample? Oh, I assume it does. It doesn't. Okay, so I just block that there. That seems fine. He's at three. What is this? Enchant permanent, enchant permanent is indestructible. So I do not have enough mana. I am one land short, so that Vindicate has lost me the game. Oh, that is heartbreaking. I'm, and then I'm, I'm, I'm gu absolutely gutted. That Vindicate cost me the game, and that's because I didn't read the card. Oh, well, the math, the five colour managed to pull that one out of the bag. I don't know how, but that one Vindicate won them the game. Oh, oh that sucks. That literally does suck. I'm actually really gutted by that because I, I hate losing to that deck that the man that one Vindicate and that was avoidable too it's not like it was unavoidable all I had to do was block or play wall and block that was all I had to do and I just totally messed it up like I normally do Oh, that one, that one sucks. How long have I been streaming? One hour, ten minutes. That is quite a while. I'm going to keep going for a bit, though. I mean, it is bloody late, but I'm enjoying it. It's been a while since I've been playing some good regular magic. Well, Magic 2013, anyway. And it also haven't seemed fun enough. Um, Rogue Gallery doesn't really interest me. Gruel, not really. 
Grim Possession, I like that deck yesterday. I used it. I haven't used I haven't really used Simic. I'll use Simic. Sky and Scale. Not you two. Who are you then? Come on, let's play. There we go. Decided on their deck. Is that War Priest of Thun? It looked like War Priest of Thun, but I mean not sure. Let's see what we've got here. Don't know this deck very well either, so you're gonna have to bear with me. So we've got Pogify, destroy type creature, can't regenerate. We know that card's good. I guess I'll keep this hand, it's a bit slow. But um, if he plays a super large threat, we've got Pogify. Or Pongify, I should say. And we are playing against the Orjov deck, because that is he's playing with a hundred cards, and that is a Doom Traveller. Um, okay, so we've got the Infiltrator, that is a very good draw. I mean, we'll probably have some sort of removal for it, but that is a 2 2 unblockable. What's that first word? Jehessian? I'll just call him the Infiltrator. He is the Infiltrator. I know a lot of people disagree with that, but hey ho. So I assume he just doesn't want to get a spirit. I mean, if he wants to just get a spirit, then he can. But I don't see why he would. And he's not going to. What does this guy do? He is quite large. Five cost is its power and toughness equal to the number of cards in your hand. As a manipulator draws depth, you draw an additional card. That is pretty nice. I mean, not I don't normally like the equal to the number of cards in your hand. I don't normally like that. Because, you know, you're looking to empty your hand normally. But, um, you know, we'll see. I've got a six slime in hand. I do need another phosphor. I can sour at some point. And he just has the white manners. Does he have a three drop to play though? He does. He has a fiend hunter. So, um, eh, I don't know what, what I should have done there. Because he can just get a three three here. But do I want my infiltrator back that badly? I think I do. I could have just killed my own infiltrator. I think I want my infiltrator back. If you can have a 3-3. Three, three, I might even take you 3-3. Three, three. Okay, there's another fire, so I can acidic slime next turn. And let's destroy target. Target artifact and charming lands, that's fine. I could I even play this next turn, but that's gonna be pretty small. Um, I think I'm just gonna sour onto the 3-3. Three, three. That does seem like a plan. Because then my my board state is looking a lot better than him. And next turn I can Acidic Slime one of his lands. Because I think, he, did he miss a land drop this turn? No, I don't think he did. I think I played first. So I don't think he's missed a land drop yet. But he doesn't have any black mana. Is this even, is this Peacekeepers? This might, this is Peacekeepers, isn't it? I didn't remember that if there's Doom Travelers and Peacekeepers or not, but I assume there is because I'm pretty sure Fiend Hunter is. There's Odric. So that, that sucks. Because I can't really deal with that. Um, claustrophobia in its battlefield. Tap enchanted creature. So that just might be better. Than Acidic Slime. Because this is when they're sent at three other. You may choose blockers. So I could just acidic slime slam, acidic slime the land, swing in with these two. And not, but then if I cost a foe, I can swing in with the beast as well. Um, I think I'm going to claustrophobia and acidic slime next turn. I mean, this card is just not looking good right now. So then I can swing in with the team. He's got four cards in hand. He's running the whole the, uh, whole hundred. Not me whole. It's not the whole deck now. You have to choose your hundred. So he's going to jump and he's going to get a spirit token. Maybe he's got like an honor of the pew in hand and he wants a spirit token so he can block sour effectively next turn. That's definitely a possibility. 
and so he is he's hitting his lands um, he could have so many things that it's not funny he could have an Arkham of Justice he could have a Monk um, he's one land away from Sun Titan that's a dumb, I guess that's why he, he took the trade just to get another Doom Traveller um, 3 cards in hand, 12 life this guy's looking just less and less good I mean if I play he just dies so I need to start holding cards back if, that, if that's what I'm going to do um, Groundswell. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, and a turn if land is played. And plus four, plus four. So I don't think that's what I'm going to do. Do I swing in with Sour Temptation? Because he gets his beast back. I think I'm going to Acidic Slime now. And I'm going to destroy a land, please. Definitely not claustrophobia. But do I swing in with Sour? If he has Glorious Charge, I'm going to keep the Sour back. Just being totally safe. Because if he has Glorious Charge, I'll be pretty mad. Here, I'm still putting some pressure on. He's still being forced to trade if he wants to. If he wants to preserve his life total. Um, that block makes no sense. Okay, he does have the Glorious Charge, so I'm really pleased I saw that coming. But now the Sour is pretty much not useful. Um, but really, really glad I saw that block coming. So he keeps one token. Which is fine, that'll go back to being a 1-1. And this guy's still not looking that useful. Um, he does have another land, so I took him off a land drop. He's got two cards in hand. That is a... Is that the destroy target creature of greatest intrepid hero? Yep. Destroy target creature of power 4 or greater. Um, luckily for me, I don't have one of them right now. But with Groundswell, I'm, I, Groundswell will be pretty much useless unless I get to use this sooner. But he does only have one card in hand, so I'm pretty sure I'm in control of this game. Um, target creature comes to 33 for frog until end of turn. I um, kind of want to play this for the additional card draw right now. So I'm going to swing with the team. My life total is pretty safe right now. If he wants to double block the acidic slime and get a token out of it, fine. Um, could even save if he double blocks. I could save that. Okay, he's just single blocking it. He's going to get the token. He is at six, one card in hand. And I am just going to play this guy. It's only going to be a 2 2. But um, it does mean I'm going to draw an additional card. I guess it's only going to live a turn. But it's, it's literally only going to live this turn. Um, and that is a Captain of the Watch. Um, hopefully that won't. That shouldn't be enough. That should be fine. Because I can swing him. He can't. Okay, he does have a token. Uh, hopefully, I draw, if I draw a land, it's over. Because I can give the unblockable guy plus four plus four. Okay, I did draw land. I drew my cards. Um, so yeah. So he missed a trick, not killing my guy while he was a four four. But swinging with that guy and groundswell, and that should be GG. And there we go. Uh, luckily I drew the land off one of them extra cards I drew and that managed to get the win because that Captain the Watch was right on time with him the Acidic Slime was just on time because if it had played Captain the Watch a turn earlier I would have been in some huge trouble so after a couple of games where the, the game hasn't been kind to me it was that game um, I can't argue with my luck in that game the the land right at the end there really did help. Um, if it didn't come, then yeah, of course, I'd be disappointed. I mean, who isn't when they get unlucky? But I think I deserved to win that game. I thought, I thought I was in control for pretty much all of it. Um, what deck do I want to play now? I haven't played, played Born of Flames today. I haven't played any of the Mono Green. I normally like the Mono Green, but not going to play me. I'm not going to play Goblins. Mono Black I've played. Peace Keeps I've played. The Exalted. Uh, I haven't played any of the mono greens. Played auras. Tokens, not really a fan of. 
Um, Rakdos haven't played. Okay, okay, that was tokens. This is Golgari. Um, but I think Grinning Malice will be the deck I'll play next. Play some Rakdos. Um, probably get two more games in. I mean, it is four in the morning. And I've got a long day tomorrow because WrestleMania 29 is tomorrow. And um, I stay up, play around with friends, watch that, has, have some good times. But um, yeah, I've been streaming for an hour, an hour odd, an hour and 21 minutes. And um, yes, that is on your screen, so you'll be saying, oh, we've got a game, didn't notice that. Hopefully, you don't miss the game. There we go, we are in. With the Grin and Malice Rectos deck. Let's see what we can do. I'm not really, I'm not normally a fan of the aggro deck. When I play standard, I'm a, a, I'm a fan more of the controlly-ish decks. And um, so we do have the um, Demigod of Revenge. That card's broken. We have Blightning. This hand seems quite keepable. And um, I have a Reanimate. That's not really as of you, as of use yet. So that's another boss. This guy's running 90 cards. That EMT five four one zero. We have a or Wrecking Ball. This card. This card, it just says, so that it's a wrecking ball to start destroy dark creature land, you know, no problem. So, we're going to play an evolving wilds just so we can get our mountain. Um, this isn't going to be the quickest start that I like for aggro. And we're against Gruul, first time against Gruul since I have been back. And no turn one, no turn two, sorry. Where is the mountain? There we go. Um, hopefully, over two drop. I do have the lightning, another wrecking ball. Um, so I do have one mana of each. Lightning is just insane. T three damage to target player, that player to scars two cards, all for three mana. I mean, what more do you want? That card is just, it's, it's just good. It is just target player, so probably going to do that at the end of turn. Unless I draw something I can play, which I don't, I just draw another demigod whenever, whenever you cast it, return all other from your graveyard. It's pretty insane. And Blightning is a sorcery, so I'm probably just going to do that now. He discards two cards. Blightning's so good. Oh, he just left. Come on, you don't concede to Blightning. Oh, this is five colour. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, so that's probably why he left. But this game is so not over. Um, I do have two 5-4 flyers. That, so then that, these guys get raped by Met Nottingham's. He does have one colour here. It's not looking good for him, I'll, I'll put it that way. So I guess I'm just going to Wrecking Ball. Green or white? I'd never know which one to get rid of. I think you get rid of green first. Um, I do have another Wrecking Ball. He's got three cards now. I guess Lightning is a beating against five colour. And he is just saying go. So I can play a Demigod. Um, so we've got Aven, Avens of the Sword. Is that Avens? Oh, Avatar. Don't know why I got Avens. When it ends the battlefield, sacrifice it unless you discard two cards. So I could get rid uh, of the 5-3 flyer. So then I discard... Yeah, okay. I'll play this. Discard this and reanimate. Um, do you want to pay the additional cost? Yes. I discard one of these and reanimate. So then next turn I'm going to be swinging for 15. Um, if he doesn't, if he doesn't interrupt me. Okay, he's got, he's got a play. He's got Vindicate. Well, he managed to, he managed to save five damage. That's a pretty good, pretty good draw by the computer there. I'm just going to play this guy. I no longer have reanimate, which is a bit, a bit of a shame. But I do have Wrecking Ball, and this is 10 damage. These cards are just oh, nuts. Absolute nuts. And yeah, so he should be dead next turn, unless he has a Meltrum Bolse. He has another Vindicate, That's, that'll save him some time. Two, two Vindicates. And we have... Oh wow, we just drew another Demigod. <laughs> That is a pretty good top deck. I'll have three demigods, please. Boom, boom, boom. So the guy, I guess he knew. I guess he couldn't handle the Blightning. I mean, Blightning is a pretty powerful card. 
But um, I guess it is a beating against five color, and he knew he wasn't in the best, the best situation anyway. So I guess I guess I can't blame him leaving it there really. I I never leave. I normally just accept it. It is weird. I don't know why I do that. I just don't like leaving on it on this in Magic Twenty on Magic Online. You scoop all the time. But with this, you're just like, yeah, I just feel bad, and I don't, I don't know why I don't feel bad, but, um, but yeah, it was always bad, because I was assuming he's playing Gruul, so, you, you know, that's bad. Um, did I play Simic? I think I did. Yeah, I did. I got on with Simic. I haven't played Born of Flame today. I'll play Born of Flame next. Probably stream for about another 20 minutes, then upload this onto the U-Tubes. If you don't, if you're uh, just a random person, we'll catching me for the first time really appreciate you watching check out my youtube at itfc youtube.com forward slash itfc 101 follow me on twitter is at itfc underscore 101 and you can always follow me here on twitch and i'll email you whenever i start streaming um so we've got this page again i think it's um war peter theme but not sure okay so we've got sulfuric vortex really good card if you're going for yeah this this card seems to keep up um, it hasn't got like the core cards of the deck, but this plus this normally means you win. But we are against goblins, so uh, not really liking where this is going. Born of Flame is not good against goblins in my opinion. I've drawn a Shandra's Outrage. Can't really kill that. <laughs> um, so we knew we were doing that. And if any of each player's upkeep, he'll still down to that play. If you would gain life, that player gains no life instead. Um, so I can only red sun for one at this point. So next turn, I'll probably just end up killing the goblin guide. And I do have flames up. I'll probably use flames. Yeah, I'll probably use flames to kill it, I reckon. Especially if he plays the 1 1 double strike here. That means I'll get a huge bargain. Um. A land here would be right, I suppose. It's not a land, it is a blaze. So I'm getting some damage in my hand here. I'm not quite sure if I'm playing Sulfur Vortex. If he plays the 1 1 double, double strike, I am slamming Flames of the Firebrand. There it is, Roar and Instigator. So I am getting a huge deal for my Flames of the Firebrand here. We've drawn the blaze as we remembered, but I am just going to go Creature, you. Creature, you, creature, you. So that that was like the perfect situation for me. I did take more damage from the Goblin Guide, but you know, that can't be helped. Hopefully I start drawing land, because if I draw land here, I can shine as Phoenix, I can deal four to the face, but well, I can do four to the face anyway. Um, so he does have his turn land up after Goblin Chieftain, that is definitely going to die. But again, I have to take two for the privilege. Four cards in hand though, so, you know, he's got a surprising amount of hands for goblins. And what do I draw? I draw another Shana's Outrage. That, that, that does suck. But, um, I'm just going to Red Sun for two. Um, yep. Red Sun for two, creature you. I'd rather Red Sun than Blaze there, just because Red Sun shuffled back into library. That's the only reason. Um, so let's see what he plays next. Really don't want to play Sulfur. This is such a bad card in this matchup because they're so aggro. They can kill you with Goblin Guides, Goblin Grenades. Really don't want to do that. So there's a Goblin War Chief. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to spend my Blaze on. Unless I draw land, then I'll just Shandra's Phoenix it. I don't, I draw the Red Sun. Um, so again, same. Same um, outlook, do the red sun because it shuffles back into the library. And them, and them cards are exiled, remember, on a red sun. So, um, yeah, that's my turn done again. Stuck on three lands. Still have a pretty sweet hand. He has four cards. That's a siege gang commander. Hopefully, he whiffs. Goblin guide. Okay, that could be worse. Um, so next turn I'm being hit with a Goblin Guide and a Watch and a Chieftain. And there's a Chandra's Phoenix. I could just play that and offer trades. That's going to be a 3-3 next turn. Now, trades are not good. 
I guess I have to blaze here. If I blaze, he's still swinging in for six next turn. And then he's in goblin grenade range. Yeah, this game isn't going well for me. I think I have to blaze. Just the lack of land is killing me. Which it does in most games. Most games I've, I think I've lost tonight is because of, because of being mana screwed. So there's the chieftain. And here comes the goblin grenade. The goblin guide. So he's swinging in for five. Take me two, five. And next turn he can goblin grenade me. If he has it. Which I assume he does. Um, I do draw land, which is good to know. But I am a five. Flames is not really good enough. Because I can kill that, kill the chieftain, but the goblin guide is still two, and then I'm dead to pretty much anything. If I play Chandra's Phoenix, he can still swing in with just a goblin guide. So I guess I just kill the chieftain. Creatures, you. Creatures, you. Players, you. Unsure about whether that was the right play. Um, could have just. Maybe I should have outraged. That would have been a better use of the mana, and got more damage to him and got the same results. Probably should have outraged that. But if he's got a goblin guide, it's the goblin grenade. It's done anyway. So here I'm taking three at the minute. And a bushwhacker, so that's game. He did have the right the right cards in hand, so whatever I had done this turn, it would have ended in defeat. But um, goblins OP as ever, and it didn't help. I got stuck on lands for a couple of turns. Um, but I really do hate goblins. I don't. I mean, I really do hate goblins. <laughs> but hey ho, what are you gonna do with the deck of the game? You gotta play against it play against it. I mean, I've beat goblins a lot of times, and I'm sure I'll beat goblins again in the future. There's no point, there's no point moaning about it, saying it's OP like a lot of people like, did back when I remember when I was bigger in the magic scene once again. But you just gotta play against it, and, you know, there's not much you can do. Just, I'm just not interested in playing it. Oh, I your connection failed. I'm just not interested in playing it and I'm not going to buy it, so you know, as simple as that for me. Um, what deck to use next? I haven't used Collective Might for a while, not a biggest fan of that deck. I love Selesnia in Return to Rapid Drafting, but really not a fan. I um, haven't used Gruul yet, maybe I'll use Gruul. Uh, I like Orzhov, but then I want to use a Beating Dead. I used a Beating Dead earlier, but I do like a Beating Dead. I'll use a Beating Dead. <laughs> Made up my mind. God, talking like this, it really does hurt my throat. I mean, I'm in Skype calls all day, and my Skype never hurts. My Skype never hurts. My throat never hurts talking. I don't know if it's because I'm putting more emphasis on my words, or if I'm talking a bit differently, because I try and talk more properly when I'm doing YouTube commentar commentaries. But for some reason, it just hurts my throat a bit more. No idea why that is. But anyway, this hand seems decent. I've got Sodium Blood, saying I'm not ashamed I'm not on the play. A crippling blight and a murder. It seems to be cool. This guy's running 63 cards. And now the Terramorphic Expanse, Gnarly Caro. Gnarly Carrot 73. And that is an island, so not you know, that can be a lot of things. Another murder is always nice. You can't have too many murders in your hand. So let's see if we can figure out what he is playing. So it's either is it or five colour. Your, you can never rule out five colour. Lands are fine. Can't sign in blood because I don't want to discard a card. So just wait until I play. They'll give me some card advantage later on. So it looks like a scissor. This could be Gelectrode, in which case it'd be Pip and Lighted. Or he's just holding up Mana Leak. Mana Leak is a viable play here. Lands is fine, I guess. I mean, I can, if he plays a creature, he can murder. Still can't sign in blood because I'd just end up discarding, would I? If I play land that, and if I. Oh, I've already played my land, I don't see. Yes, I would. LOL. I'm pretty sure that's how it will work because, you know, we used to play on the draw. 
the four mana. Um, could be a lot of things. Um, I'm, I assume you just hold mana leak, but the later the game goes, the, ma the less and less mana leak is useful. I'm assuming he's holding up counters. But I'll just keep playing lands, I guess. I mean, my hand's very good right now. I have two murders and a crippling blow, so I have something. Just a nice little thing to deal with Electrode. And just things to deal with all creatures. I mean, a one of the elements would suck because he can just get creatures, but then he'd be destroying his own lands and I can just keep killing quicker than what would be useful for him. So I'm not really too worried about that. Um, I'm really not sure what big things I have in here. Um, compulsive research. So I draw three cards, discard two unless he discards a land, and he discards a land. So he gets his two cards, and he plays that guy. So that guy can get crippled and blighted, that's fine. Although if I draw a threat, I'll be looking to get that out now. Nope, just can draw another land. But I'm going to play crippling blight on that guy. And now I can safely sign a blood. If it lets me... I just see one one. Um, land, land, okay. At least I'm thinning my deck out, I guess. So, and if he makes me discard, which I don't think is discarding blue-red. Not normally is. That's normally a uh, black thing. Not being racist, but it is. Um, then I have plenty of lands. I have land, 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 land. And there's wee drags. Does he have a follow-up play? He, have a, he has five cards in hand. So he's, I, I assume he's holding up the mana leak. And that's literally the only thing I can assume, really. I mean, I do have a lot of mana, so that's why I want some more mana. So the only thing I can assume is that he's holding up mana leak, but I can pay for a mana leak here. I mean, if he double mana leaks, then that sucks. But. He has more, he has seven, I have six, and I buy five more in hand. So this makes me hope I have something like a Grizzle Brand in the deck. And Compulsive Research, drawn three more cards, and I assume he has got a land, I don't see why he wouldn't. It's Compulsive Research in instant. No, it is a sorcery. So I think I'm just going to murder all we drags here. Oh, okay, so he's discarding two other cards. He's discarding Electrolyze. That is interesting. Yeah, Electrolyze isn't a bonkers card. So I'm just going to murder that thing. Get you out of here. Um, I think Mono Black should win. Uh, I don't know. They're both good control decks. And he, I think he'll have bigger threats. I, d I really have no idea what threats I have in here. I'm pretty sure I don't have just 50 lands. But, you know, we can't really tell at this point. And still has the murder up, so if you play something like Miz Miz, I can just instantly, instantly kill it. And with the mana leak, mana back up. And one of the elements, this is when one of the elements starts to get really scary. Because, I mean, he's got a lot of lands. And I can't deal with it. The only way I can deal with all of them is if, if I draw Mutilate and I get greedy with it. Um, there is uh, that guy. Flying, draw a card, but uh, plus one, plus one counter. So I guess I have to use a murder here. But then my hand is pretty much out of gas. Um, and if he has a mis mis he has a mis so there's not much I can do about that. That card definitely has to get murdered. That puts me on a three turn clock. I'm, I'm pretty much less than that because. because you put counters on it, so. Um, the game is just sinking, and we should be back here any second. Is it still sinking? I thought I was done sinking. Alas, it still seems to be sinking. Gnarly carrot here. Probably spamming some buttons, getting a little bit annoyed, wondering what's going on. View the board, see if anything's changed since yesterday. Friends. No, but I'm still three around the 3,000 mark. I've moved a bit up 
I showing JT still on stage? Well, they probably haven't even played since yesterday. I mean, it's not like the game's in the high point of its life cycle. Um, I, I guess the game is literally just very. Does that do it? If I do that, does it like cancel the game out? Can we play now? No, but it still seems like it's going to be froze. Let's see, just in case you want to see his view of the table, him looking at me, and here I am. Um, I don't know if this is going to be another one, another DC kind of thing. But something is wrong. It said game was syncing, and then I assumed it was done. But it is, apparently it isn't done. So, an hour and 41. Time really does fly when you stream. I, I said a couple of days ago I really do miss streaming. And time really does fly when you stream. I'm really glad I've started again. I'm not sure if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow again, cause I, again, because I said WrestleMania. But then the Monday, who knows? Although I do need to be doing work. That is something I do need to be doing. Um, I've slacked this last two weeks and it could cost me my degree, so I need to get my ass into gear. But as of now, I'm just waiting for this guy. Looking for things to entertain you. We have recently switched to OBS, I did use XSplit for all my previous streams. But, um, XSplit has had a huge rise in popularity. And it is just much better than XSplit, it takes up less of your computer usage and is much simpler to use and yeah it's just better so if any of you are wanting to stream i highly recommend obs um but expert is still fine but um, and another thing was that it reset um is that a line there uh, i know my my mic volume was a bit weird so that maybe that's I don't know. Is that my I need to move my so it's terrible? It looked like it was moving but now it doesn't. Another line has just disappeared, so I don't know. My side's pretty bad so I couldn't really tell you what's going on. But um yeah, if anyone's wanting to stream OBS is a really quick download, it's a really short file it's a really small file. And um it's really simple to use. I just watched one video and that's only because I'm technologically an idiot. If you know anything about technology, you'll be able to set this up really quickly and it does it in good quality. You can do 1080p. I choose to do 720, although I probably could do magic in 1080. And when I play League, I've got to set up a 720p for League of Legends. But um, uh, I could probably could do magic in 1080, so it might be something to look at. But 720 is fine. I mean, it should be fine. Still nothing going on in the chat room. Oh. I love to I love to having people chat um, in my old stream. When I did this beforehand, I the chat room used to be really vibrant. Um, when we'd have 20, 25 people here, we'd get some regulars in most nights. I'm not quite sure what they're up to now, but you know. But I don't know maybe the chat room is, you know, maybe people are chatting. I mean, we're having a consistent five or six people in here, so maybe the chat room just isn't isn't ha having its day. Who knows? But um, this game doesn't look like it's going to finish anytime soon. I really don't want to leave. It's just one of these little things I just hate leaving. It's true for most things. I just normally, if I'll wait until the other person leaves. I have quite a large amount of patience for that. Not my turn, I know. I'm waiting. I know it's not my turn. But it said it was, it was thinking, and now it just did nothing, so... Um, I'm really not sure. I guess the game's just having a little fart, and there's nothing to do. Pretty annoying that I got absolutely flooded. I think it's oh hello. Okay, that guy left. So that see my patience it does it does it. My patience does it, and I win. So we get a two world there. So let's see why I actually have a mistake. I have if I have a grizzle brand, I'm just going to take the grizzle brand. Blood Hunter Bat, Skull Bat, Corrupt, Nighthawk, Jennifer, Nightmare, Grizzle Brand. There's all oh, Grey Titan, Grizzle Brand, Grey Titan, Grizzle Brand. Um, I've got to take the Grizzle Brand. Grizzle Brand is just an absolute beating. 
and yeah. Although if he has the mana leak, then I'm going to be absolutely sad. Okay, he's tapping out. For an 8-5, deals damage equal to... Oh wow, that is a beating. Deals damage equal to it to its power dividers as you choose between a number of target creatures. Each of these creatures deals damage equal to its power. Wow. It doesn't matter because I just drew an SM guard. So, you know, that's an absolute beating. And then I can play Grizzle Brand 3. So, um, I don't know if they have just like a straight destroy target creature. But I'm pretty sure at his end step I'm going to draw 7. But that Innocent Blood was just a ridiculous draw. I mean, you might have the spell that you have to choose whether to do it, deal, um, deal 6 to you. I played that spell twice, so I still can't remember its name. Act of Treason? Wow. Is he going to pay 7 to draw 7? That'd be a bit nuts. Um, and he's drawing 3 cards. That's a good turn for him. He's left a bit early, I think. And he is going to take a swing here. Wow, that was pretty nuts for him. Are you going to pay 7 to draw? He is. He draws 7 as well. Look at that guy go. This garden land, 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 land. And that guy. So I do have this guy as well. So the fear whenever it deals damage, whenever a creature deals damage to you, destroy it. Whenever Dread is put into a graveyard from another shuffle into his owner's library. So I guess I just swing in. Because I don't really don't want to go down to four. And then I'm going to draw seven. So what do I want to play? Um, I guess, yeah, it's still just that guy. I mean, I am playing against a computer here, but, you know, I still want to do alright. And I guess just the extra life game would be nice, I'm going to play Blood Hunt of that. Still lose two life, is it, please? And then just to score, I guess I'll just discard, mutilate. Just, no, I don't need to discard me or not, I just just got land, obviously. Um, Act to Cheese in here would suck. Wouldn't mean I'm dead because I can block. Oh, the, the whole this card is just ugh. Imagine if could you imagine Crypt Cast was ugh. Oh, what does this guy do? Did I just is that insurrection? I just got insurrection to to death. Well played, is it? <laughs> oh, and I'm Meg too because I lost. Oh my god. Can I, I got insurrect. That is the first time I've ever been insurrection. Oh my god, that is crazy. <laughs> wow, that is crazy stuff. I just got owned by Is it the Is it computer robot thing. Wow. I guess and I only died no, I'd have died. I'd have gone down to zero, yeah. The blood hand bad tip now. But wow, that was a bit crazy. But anyway, that's gonna be it for now. Thanks to everyone for watching. Um if you if you don't subscribe to me on YouTube, um, please do. Um, this stream will be up on YouTube in about half an hour. Um, it's youtube.com forward slash ITFC101. If you would like to follow me on Twitter, I don't tweet much, but I tweet about random shit. Um, it's ITFC at ITFC underscore 101. And um, I think that's all the bugs. And if you want to um, follow me on Twitch, then they will send you an email every time I start streaming. So I hope everyone enjoyed. It's been a good 